Hey guys, Quinn from Canada. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can plan out your next Voron theme using FreeCAD. So grab a beverage, join me at the computer. All right, guys, so let's start out by downloading FreeCAD. Just go to freecad.org, download and grab whichever version you need. After that, head to Voron Designs GitHub. So github.com Voron Designs and choose whichever Voron you're building. I'm going to choose the switch wire for now. Next, go to the CAD folder right here. And the one you want is the assembly itself. So switch wire assembly. And you'll see the download button right there. Give that a clicky. Once it's downloaded, grab yourself the step file. This is the guy you need. Just copy that and paste it somewhere else. I'll put it into my engineering folder, for instance. Now, I do want to give you a little bit of a warning. If you look back here, you can see other step files like the pinion step. If you click on here and you get the guy like this, you can just click right here to copy raw content and then you can paste it into Notepad. And then save it as a step file. Now, there is a flaw in Google Chrome where if you go back here and you say, a save link as it will save it as a step file however when you open that step file up you will see all this hyperlink data added in and that will absolutely make things fail after you got your file open up freecad you'll get this exact window just simply go create new and from here go file import and if i go to my engineering folder here i will see switch wire assembly Click open to open it up. So, because it's gonna take a few minutes, it's a good time to enjoy a beverage. Once the model is imported, save it right away. Having the model in the FreeCAD format will make it load faster than importing it every time. So just simply file, save as, and pick whatever name you want for it. Click this button up here to set a nicer view. Now, the panels are not transparent in the model. So the first thing you want to do is turn that off. Just click down here and go to the part right here that says panels and click the space bar. This will hide all the panels. For anything that you don't want to see, you can click on it, such as the spool holder, and you can hit space bar. Now the downside is you'll then have to go through these menus and try to find which one it is. Anything that is hidden, you'll see it grayed out. So I'm guessing it's this guy right here. Click space bar again and he'll pop right back up. So how do you change colors? Well, it's simple. Pick a component like this guy right here and you will see this box come up. Yeah, now it might be on data or it might be on view. Make sure you're on view and then shape color right down here. Click on that. It will pop up the color select. Pick a color. Let's just go with red. Click OK and you will see that that component is now the color you want. Select this guy, for instance, click on here, click on there again. Let's say orange. And there you go. Now you can also add custom colors. So let's say this orange is the wrong shade of orange. Click here, click down here, click again. You can enter the HTML value, let's say EE45, and you will get a custom value. Now, if you want to save that custom value, the trick is click on one of these custom colors, type in whatever value you want, and click Add Custom Color, and it will add the custom color right there to your field. Now, you can see I already have custom colors added here. This will be saved between your sessions. So as soon as you add a custom color, it will always be there in FreeCAD. Click OK, and there you go. All right, guys, that's it. Hope that helps. Leave a like, leave a comment, and like always, don't forget to scotch scribe. Nazdrovia.